if you buy this, this is what you can expect. A package this size. A little clue on the side here. 104 500. Here it is inside. Barely fits through the door. Castle Forged. Castle Forged unboxes the staff of Radagast by Weta. You know, that guy that blows smoke in the face of hedgehogs, rides a sleigh, pulled by rabbits. Now this here is a big box. Let's check out what's inside. Now this part made me feel a little bit like Austin Powers, making a three-point turn. Hit the ceiling. and then hit the wall. Whoa! Had to kick it diagonally. Basically as a forewarning, the box doubles in size. Here's a label on the box. The Hobbit. An unexpected journey, staff of Radagast, authentic prop replica, limited edition, limited to 1,000. And then I got some other little product placement. Staff is going to look like. So, what it looks like inside fragile. Dun, 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 dun. And up here, look at that. It's pretty cool. Get some of this out of here. Hmm, looks like it runs through these cardboard pieces. So I think I'll take the top off. I'm taking the top off here. Looks like it's tied down. We got a little envelope. Sweet. Certificate of authenticity, number 104 of 1000. Looks like it's signed by, signed by the general manager of Weta. Limited edition. You can usually find something cool to associate with a number. I like 104. 10 4. Over and out. Let's see if I can find anything else in here. Oh, yeah, there's the mounting bracket. It's kind of loose in there. This is the wall hanger. Just kind of mount it. Get three screws and it holds it in place by tension so it's not like it hangs on it or anything like that but you slide it in and it's kind of rubberized. I like this. Mount it and then you rest the bottom of the staff on the ground and you gotta find a good place for it but you just slide it in. That. This kind of spreads apart. There you go. It was getting stuck, and this is why I had to take this thing off. And inside, da da da, there's the, the crystal, the gem that goes in the top. The crystal is acrylic and removable, just like in the movie. And I like it. It appears to have inclusions and chips, making it feel realistic. And being translucent, it looks great with light shining through it. You probably couldn't cure a hedgehog with it though. Finally, to the staff and to the details. Let's start with some 360 degree views looking up at the top. With each take, the staff is moved up a bit. The crystal's not in it right now, but you'll see it soon. 
The staff weighs over five pounds and is almost six feet tall. It's hand painted, so each staff will vary. There is so much variation in this staff. And now to a 360 degree profile view of the top of the staff. So much variation that it would be a marvel to find this lying on the ground with branches capable of supporting a crystal, which lends to the fantasy and uniqueness of this staff. Look how it's worn smooth in certain areas and then there are patches of bark. It really gives it a sense of age. Now on to some 360 degree details of the staff, both looking up and in profile. It looks like a real piece of wood to me and a remarkable piece of wood. Every section has little details. It's pitted here, there's a knoll, there's a crack, there's a crevice, little bowls and different grains. It feels like moss should be growing on it, or in Radagast's case, mushrooms. It's aged, it's weathered, it's something I believe a wizard would carry. Here, you can see Radagast's rune carved into the branch. Gandalf's staff has a double G for Gandalf the Grey. I'm not sure what this one means, though. Kind of think of this as the power source. Powering up my staff. All right, now on to some vertical revolutions, incrementally lower. So how you can see how the crystal looks in it. You see it uh, right side up, kind of how you would look at it naturally. You see the little twisting, the weathered, smooth, staff that, uh, you know, Radagast would carry around with him in the woods. And you gotta check out the rune again. And basically just another little overview for you. Picking up more of the details. And finally, we got a little creative to show you some uh, focus changes from the middle to the ground. Just kind of pans down. So you can check it all out from one angle. <laughs> Pretty cool. Yeah. Very pleased with the staff. Kevin here with Castle Forge. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed my unboxing slash sort of review of the staff of Radagast. Plan on doing more reviews, more unboxings. Look forward to meeting a lot of you. So, like if you like, and let me know what you think.